Hi, I'm Sam from Saris, and I'm super excited to teach you the best way to take care of your Saris tray rack. To get started, there are a few products we're going to use to spiff up this Super Clamp EX2 bike. Finish Line Super Bike Wash, T9 Bow Shield Lube, a little bit of grease, and Turtle Wax Automotive Spray Wax. You don't need to use these exact products, some soapy water and a spray bottle will work just fine too. We'll also use a clean cloth or two, a 3 quarters inch wrench or socket will also come in handy. And you can do all of this while the rack is on the back of your car. First, remove the outside B wheel trays. Thread the knob counterclockwise on top of the tray until the tray slides. Press the button on top of the end of the bar to slide the wheel tray off the main bar. Spray some of the wash on the trays and wipe them off. Be sure to clean the inside of the rectangular opening. Once the trays are clean, inspect them for any cracks or excess debris. If needed, you can purchase additional trays on our website. Next, loosen the knobs on the interior A trays and slide them to the center of the main bar. Spray some wash on these trays and clean and inspect them as you did with the removed trays. Now, spray some of the wash on the horizontal tube and wipe it down. When the tube is nice and clean, slide your interior A trays apart and clean the area where they were covering. The lock cables are an important feature of the super clamp. Hold the button down on the end of the horizontal tube and pull both lock cables out. Spray some of the wash on the cloth and wipe the lock cable off. Keeping the cables clean will ensure that they go in and out of the tube easily. Be sure to hold the button down the entire time you feed the cables back in. Pro tip, twisting the cables while feeding it back in will make the operation much easier. Now let's have a look at the lock itself. Give the keyhole a shot of lube. Wipe off the excess and clean the exterior lock housing with the spray wash. Get your key out and make sure the lock functions smoothly and that the cable is secure. Your rack may have the lock head on one end of the cables instead of in the center of the rack. This style of lock can be lubed and cleaned the same way. The same goes for your hitch pin lock. Now let's give the arms some TLC. It's important to keep the arms clean so the hooks slide easily. It's a good practice to wipe these down after you wash your car or rack. Slide the hooks all the way to the bottom of the arm. Spray some of the wash on the top area of the arm. Be sure to floss in between the two tube arms. Bring the arm hooks back to the top of the arm and clean the lower sections of the arms in the same way. The cleaner these arms are, the better the hooks will slide. Check the buttons to be sure you have good engagement. Give the hooks a nice pull upward without pressing the button and they should be locked in place. Let's move to the lower side of the arms. This is where the magic of the super clamp happens. There is a pawl on the underside of the arm that looks like a little finger. This piece should engage the top of the star bracket and click as the arm is being pushed inward. When you press the button at the top of the arm, the finger should lift allowing you to open the arms. Shoot some of the lube on the pawl and cycle the button a few times. Wipe the excess lube off. Now that your rack is all clean, let's remove the threaded hitch pin that attaches the rack to your vehicle. You'll need the 3 quarters inch wrench to do this. You can pull the rack out of your receiver and clean the receiver tube off. Take the hitch pin and clean it off as well. You can use the lube to clean this part off. Apply some grease to the threads on the hitch pin. This way, it will be easy to loosen the next time you take the rack off. Be sure the lock washer is on the pin when you reinstall it. If you haven't already lubed the lock, go ahead and shoot some lube into that keyhole and wipe it off after. Lastly, let's give the rack a nice clear coat with the spray wax. Spray the horizontal tube and arms and give the entire rack a wipe down. This will keep surface rust away and make the rack easier to clean the next time you wipe it down. Reinstall your wheel trays and tighten down the knobs so the wheel trays do not move. Now you're ready to roll. We recommend this simple maintenance at least once a year. If you live in extreme conditions or use your rack through the winter, you may want to increase the frequency of this maintenance. As always, if you have questions or need parts, feel free to contact our customer service at 1-800-783-7257 or support at saris.com.